Okay, let's cut the crap. Everybody knows that people who hate Obama are racist, and America is a racist country. And uh, even Obama himself knows this. He said it to the New Yorker last year. I have it here. He said, uh, there's no doubt that there's some folks, I love when he says folks, that there's some folks who just really dislike me because they don't like the idea of a black president. <laughs> so why are we listening to these folks? Why are we listening to racist, irrational a-holes? Um, okay, that's a good point, actually. Jeffrey Goldberg was talking about this in The Atlantic when he said, why are we doing business with Iran? They are anti-Semitic. And he was saying that it's not just offensive, but it shows an irrational mindset. <laughs> he was saying that racists are irrational. And Obama responded to that by saying, uh, well, the fact that you are anti-Semitic or racist doesn't preclude you from being interested in survival. It doesn't preclude you from being rational. So, racists are only irrational when Obama wants them to be? Why do you always have to do that? You always have to ruin everything by talking about Iran and Muslims and Islam. It reminds me of this article that was in the New York Times this Sunday that was brilliant by a guy named Frank Bruni, and it was called Weary of Relativity, and it sums up the rage I'm feeling right now. He was talking about uh, uh, Tom Cotton from Arkansas, and uh, uh, Cotton, this is Frank Bruni talking. Cotton was rationalizing a so-called oh damn it. Was rationalizing a so-called religious freedom bill that would have permitted the state's merchants to deny services to people based on their sexual orientation. And he said it was important to have a sense of perspective. So this is Bruni pointing out that Cotton said we need a sense of perspective. In Iran, Cotton noted, they hang you for the crime of being gay. And Bruni is like, well, why did you have to even go there again? Well, I'm sorry to ruin your fun, but this isn't some f just some far off land that we're never going to have anything to do with. We're crawling into bed with them in a nuclear way. And Muslim culture is in America to the tune of three million people. There's Muslim bakeries in America that will not bake cakes for gays. But I didn't hear you say anything about that. I didn't hear a peep about that. Because I don't know that culture. I cannot speak to that. No, it's because you didn't look it up because you're not interested in a narrative that doesn't fit me versus people who look like my daddy. <laughs> okay, so uh, why is that, Freud? Uh, probably because you can. We allow you to. Yeah, right. Uh, oh my god, what happened to your hands? That was freaky, dude. Oh my god, it was like Darth Vader and then I could sort of feel it, but I couldn't feel it? Oh, gross.